Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Hope you're doing well today. Um, I have got an Imperial Stout to review for you. It's one I'm very, very excited about. It's a huge new release from uh, Track, who have collaborated with Polish brewers Pinter. And it's chocolate and gingerbread Imperial Stout titled Nothing More. And it's coming in at 10.5% ABV. Chocolate and gingerbread. I was really excited. Uh, when I heard about this one, um, chocolate and gingerbread is just a great combination of flavours. Uh, I've not done a track beer for a while. Uh, I think probably Sonoma was probably the last track beer I actually uh, actually reviewed on here. Um, so looking forward to this. Um, it's I think it only came out a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't cheap. I actually picked up this bottle from your local uh, bottle shop, beer shop in St Albans. I paid about £9.30 for it, so it wasn't a cheap beer. Uh, you can get it on Trembling Madness for £8.50, I believe, if you want to uh, if you want to order it. But um, yeah, I'm hoping for good things. It's an expensive beer, so I'm hoping for, you know, a good tasting beer, really. If it's going to pay that much, then yeah, I want good things. So, what's it say? Trek and Pinta, in collaboration with Poland's barrel-aging behemoths Pinta, having first met Pinta at last year's Tallinn Craft Beer Week. We knew we had to make a huge stout with them. Ingredients, barley, oats, wheat, lactose, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, clove, cardamom, vanilla, cacao nibs, cacao husks, and yeast. Wow, it sounds like Christmas in a can, really. So, um, yeah, let's uh, quit waffling. Get the can open, get it into a glass. Let's see if it's as good as I'm really hoping it to be. Whoa, yep. Ginger and chocolate on the aroma, unmistakably. That's a good start. And look at the pour on that. It's thick. It's oily. There is tiniest little bit of, of a coffee, almost a ginger flake looking, uh, ginger colored looking head. It was developing momentarily there. Wow. I tell you, there's, there is like an orange, an orange tinge to the carbonation that was coming up there. It look, it reminds me of those border biscuits, those dark chocolate ginger biscuits, black. Really, really dark. That is just jet black. There's no red bleeding through that whatsoever. Head has dissipated. Head has not hung around. That has gone. There is just a tiny, just a little carbonation bubbles around the rim there. You can quite catch them. You see that tiniest bit of lacing on the glass there? It's like a tinge of orange to it almost. Fascinating. Let's get me snouting. Oh, wow. That is just chocolate and ginger. It smells like, it honestly, it smells like a dark chocolate covered ginger biscuit. There's a loads of ginger in that. There's cinnamon in there as well. There is a winter spice. Ginger, cinnamon, touch of vanilla. Loads of chocolate. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Put that down for a second. It's still developing. It's still developing on my palate. Oh, wow. Wow, they have absolutely nailed that. It's quite well carbonated for a 10.5% Imperial Stout. There is cinnamon and ginger that greets you. 
quite light bodied yet that touch of carbonation really throws around the the chocolate and the spice that cinnamon and ginger around the palate it's the body to it because it's light and because it's absolutely delicious that chocolate and spice it's really drinkable i feel like i just want to knock it back um this is a ridiculously drinkable 10.5% Imperial Stout. Mm. Oh, God. You are greeted by that spice and sweetness straight away. It's the spice that hits you straight away. That's the first thing. It's the cinnamon and the ginger and the chocolate comes in. And the spice and the ginger carries all the way through. And there is a slightly, slightly kind of woody. I'm not sure if this is, is it barrel aged? I think this is actually barrel aged, is it? I mean, it says Pinta are experts in barrel aging. But I don't know if this particular beer was barrel aged. But there is like a, a woody kind of almost sort of like whiskey barrel flavour to it. It might just be the spice that's giving me that impression. But the flavour hangs around for ages. I'd say you, you have a swig of it and that, that flavour just, it prolongs. It just stays there. This is stunning. This is absolutely delicious. I've had, you know, stouts, big imperial stouts that have sort of flavourings and things in them. And more often than not, you you know, you think, yeah, they're okay, but you, you kind of wish they were perhaps a little bit more. Look at that. The colour of that head. The ingredients on this. There is a, it's lactose, there's a bit of a vanilla thing going on. Cinnamon, there's full on ginger, nutmeg, clove, cardamom, vanilla, cacao. It's chocolatey, it's spicy, it's really strong with the ginger. Mm. Yeah, slight creaminess of vanilla. The lactose gives it body. Big, spicy. Oh, that is literally Borders Biscuits. Look it up. Google it if you've never had them. Borders Biscuits. They do these little, essentially it's a ginger nut wrapped in dark chocolate. They're absolutely delicious. That is what this reminds me of. They have absolutely nailed this. In terms of a chocolate and gingerbread imperial style, it does not get better than that. There is, there is nothing more I could have hoped for from this. It is absolutely perfect. And I don't say that very often. But if you wanted to make a chocolate and gingerbread imperial stout, that's what it would taste like. It's perfect. Mm. Just, whoa, wow. And it's only now that I'm kind of halfway through it that I'm starting to feel a little bit of an alcohol heat from it. The sweetness and the spice are starting to become more pronounced in the flavour. The chocolate is just starting to it's just starting to be pushed down a little bit by the spice. If you're not into your winter spice, you might not enjoy this one too much. If you don't like your ginger, you might not enjoy this one too much. But I love ginger, I love winter spice. Oh this is a treat. An absolute treat. There is something about beers being released right at the beginning of the year or right at the end of the previous year. Seems to be a pattern emerging there, particularly with my channel. I seem to get beers in early doors in a new year that absolutely blow my mind. And I'm kind of glad that I do these videos, otherwise I'd forget about it. 
Um, this is another one of those beers that's going to end up on the shelf behind me as a reminder of what was good about 2023. Um, I, um, I'm going to make a bold claim. We are, uh, it's the 5th of January. It's the 5th of January today. That may well be the best beer I drink all year. <laughs> Quite honestly. Honestly, that is perfection. Like I say, in terms of a, a chocolate and gingerbread imperial stout, I couldn't ask for more. Could not ask for more. It's rich, it's spicy, chocolatey, it's delicious. There's a drinkability about it. The body's lovely, lovely warming, like subtle booziness to it. Doesn't hide the fact that it's a 10.5% beer. It's a dessert beer, it's glorious. It's absolutely glorious. It's a 10 out of 10 beer, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this in peace. Track and Pinter, nothing more, nothing more to say. Chocolate gingerbread imperial stout. It's a lot of money, grant you. It's not a cheap beer, but honestly, that's worth every penny. Genuinely, that's worth every penny. I won't drink any, I don't think I'll drink a better beer than that this year already. And that's that's a hell of a thing to say five days into the new year. If I drink a better stout than that, I'll be amazed. Um, that's stunning. That is quite stunning. Track and Pinter, 10 out of 10, nothing more. Chocolate gingerbread imperial stout, absolutely amazing. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beer in peace. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Do appreciate that. Till my next one, you take care.